Welcome back, everybody, to episode 58 of our Agility Build Challenge. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming, and here we are in our Agility Base, right outside the clubhouse. Now, I have done quite a few things. As you have noticed, it is day 72, so that means we have skipped a day from the last horde because I had a lot of things to do. I had to do some cleanup. <laughs> My base is a complete disaster. But mostly, I did a little bit of farming. I put more stuff to burn. And I've also repaired all the blocks at the Horde base. Well, not all the blocks, but I've repaired the blocks to the point where we could have zombies there again. I have also outlined some new things that I want to do there. So we're going to upgrade the base quite a bit. And I'll show you guys what I've done in the morning. But for now, let's go in and add our name to the wall. Yes, that's right, guys. Name. Singular. And there's a little bit more light in here. I think it looks much better, <laughs> much better lit. Um, it got a little bit light over here because I put some some lanterns at the top and they kind of bleed through the through the roof. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. But you might notice that there's a missing name. Oh, no. Well, I just had to. So I have moved them over here. Kyle, it is now in the chef's kitchen. All to himself. Yes, I know it from good authority and from a lot of Discord pictures that Kyle is a great chef. As well as his wife, Pookie. Oh, wonderful. I needed them to be together. It couldn't have been any other way. But me and Pookie, well, we have a complicated history. Yes, guys. On the first day that I met Bookie, I shot her in the hand. Some say I shot her in the head, but I have probably video evidence that says I shot her in the hand. Regardless, I'm so sorry, Bookie. And so far, from what I've heard, she holds no resentment. What a wonderful lady. What a wonderful woman. And now she's here on the wall because she has subscribed. I know it from good authority. So thank you, Pookie. She made our 350 subscriber. How amazing. Technically, somebody was there first, but they decided to leave. So Pookie came in and saved the day. Thank you, Pookie, for being my 350th subscriber. I'm so excited. I am so thankful to all of you. It is so incredible and so weird at the same time. And now we have an, an open tag here that will be filled by somebody else very soon. But I would have had to look through the list and I didn't have any time because I was busy, guys. Okay, I was repairing our horde base. Now, this base I have not repaired yet. But look, today, I think we're going to do a little bit of building. So we can fix that up and we can fix the stuff at the horde base. But let me show you what I've done. And you will notice that our horde base has changed quite a bit <laughs> quite a bit it's not as crazy as you would think to be fair it's basically the same horde base as it was before i have just opened up here the wall uh to kind of give myself a, a double walkway because a singular one i don't know if they were having trouble coming back up i don't know just in case and i've also placed the blade traps out here now why would i make this you might wonder okay so i had a couple of ideas and I thought about the last Horde night, incredibly. Now, just so you know, I haven't had much time to look at all the comments of the last Horde, so if you give me great suggestions, I'm sorry if I missed them, I will do it for the next one. But for this one, I have decided to make a tiny corridor over here. And the reason for this, I've cooked this up. Um, I'll show you guys how to do some of the cables if you have any concerns, any questions. Maybe we'll even do a tutorial about it because it's actually pretty cool how it works and it's very intuitive once you do it once. I have to hook up the, the traps here, so I guess we could do that. But I've added some dart traps at the top. Now these don't blow up the demolisher, so we should be pretty good there. And I've also moved my one electrical fence over here. This is it. These are the only two I have. I bought them from the trader and I don't own anymore and I can't make anymore. So you will notice that there's more and it's a little bit tighter in here than it was before. That's because I needed to add a switch. I was tired of going down there and turning on the battery bank. I have hooked up our one generator to that battery bank. So now my batteries are charged, which is very, very cool. 
and I've hooked them up to this light switch. So I'm able to turn it on and everything goes on from here. So I don't have to go downstairs. I've also added a box here with some goodies. So if you look here, there's just everything to repair. And speaking of which, let's take this wire tool and go hook up our traps because I, <laughs> I didn't do them. I forgot them completely. Now I could hook them up to something else, but I think maybe they'll reach here. We'll have to check really quickly. We'll do a little, a little check. See, don't worry. That's not going to kill us. And all I have to do is just make sure that I'm close enough. There we go. There we go. And I think I can connect these together. I could try to connect it from out there, but it's probably too far to connect to that trap. So this, this way it will do. And hopefully it will work this way as well. All right, so it's red. It's red, it's red. Oh, it's red. Hang on, if I can reach it. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm I'm an actual genius. I'm I'm an actual electrical master. So, so you guys know. <laughs> um this thing has a range. But if you sit in between the range, then it'll give you an extra, an extra half, if that makes any sense, which is weird, but it really does. Or it gives you an extra range from when you can see the wattage to here. So it gives you an extra three, four, about five blocks. But I'm going to leave this here. We're going to come back tonight and we're going to finish this up. Okay. So we're ready to take off. The traders are available again so that should be pretty good let's see if we can buy something from them and we did get a couple more points so maybe we can even do a quest and see if we can get the extra the extra reward from them which would be very very cool hello bob i left your door open oh what bob has an smg turret two of them oh they're four thousand each oh that's pricey that's pricey but i'm doing it anyway right I mean, it's going to be crazy, right? I need to do this. It's 8,000. I, I can afford it. I can afford it. He also has the Fireman's Almanac, which I guess is fine. And he has Night Stalker Volume 2, Melding to the Shadows and Sneak 5% Better. Oh, that's great. Oh, guys. Look what we have found. Night Vision Goggles. I told you. I told you. We just needed Better Barter 3. And look, he has it on the first day. Oh, we are so lucky. I'll also buy some glue, but that's super less exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's great. That's great. I will go ahead and learn this. Is a tier 5 fetch and clear for Skyscraper 1? Which one's this one? Oh, let's go check it out. And today we're going to be doing some building as well. So this quest is just a bonus, okay? And now that we got the night vision goggles, we are good to go, guys. This is going to be incredible for our night looting. Don't tell me it's the Dijon Tower. Who would do this to me? What kind of cruel nightmare of a joke would this be? I'm pretty sure it is the Dijon Tower. Oh, guys. And I wanted to do some building today. There's no way I can get the Dijon done in one day. There's absolutely no way. Oh, it, this place is a nightmare. Okay. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, it's been a while since we've done it, okay? And I remember I, I remember saying when I did it, I would never do it again. I remember my words saying I would never do it again. This place was horrible. But then this happened. I got the quest for it. And I could do something. I could do something else. I could just not do it. But the brave person in me, says just go for it okay 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 good news is no weird message has appeared yet so that's already looking up boys and girls it's looking up and i'm gonna do a fast clear i'm not gonna loot everything okay it's gonna hurt my soul but we'll be back tomorrow maybe or like another night or something and and loot i'm just gonna be focused on completing the the, the mission the quest just realized I have all my money on me. That would have not been good. Oh, already, already a bumpy start. But let's get to it. <laughs>
Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, it's been a long, a long day. We got a couple more zombies here. I suppose I could crouch for. But I don't know if we're gonna get it, guys. You know, I thought we could do it. I thought maybe we could do the fastest clear of the Dijon Tower ever. At least for us. Look, we'll see. We'll see. But I keep getting tempted by these working stiffs boxes. But let's get out of here and let's proceed. Uh, currently, we are on the fifth floor, I want to say. So we're still, still a long ways to go. If I remember, this place is... Oh. Oh, that was a close one. And there's three guys, too. That would have been quite tragic. But yeah, we, we busted all the way over here, and still we're only at the at the fifth floor. So it's crazy. Just how many zombies... This loot better be the best loot that I'm about to get in my whole life. I don't think it will be, that, and I think that's the problem. But, you know, whatever. We'll grab the loot at the top. It'll be sort of semi-worth it. If we, if we just get it done in one day, it'll be worth it. But, you know... <laughs> Will we? I don't know. If you guys remember, it took us about four days to clear this place fully last time. And I'm not about that life, okay? I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that again. <laughs> Never again, please. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus. I'm just going to attack everything. If I finish today, I will be so excited. I don't even know if it's possible. I'm barely grabbing any loot. I don't even care. I grabbed the working stiffs boxes because why not? We also got an antibiotics recipe, which is amazing. Uh, recipe for a pig challenge and another challenge. I'll go ahead and accept that just to get it off our inventory. And then we got a couple of other things. You know, nothing too crazy. We can go ahead and use the night vision goggles, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see it until things get a little bit darker. Just so we don't, <laughs> we don't overdo it, okay? Because it's going to be very, very green. And I don't know how that will look in the video. So I'm doing it for you guys, okay? I will use them. I just hope it doesn't look terrible. And if it does, then we'll, we'll know about it for the next time. And I'm also not using my light as much as possible because I wake up all the zombies. But I think it's getting dark enough that we might have to risk the biscuit here. And some will wake up, but I think that's fine. We'll start using... Oh! Oh, well, that's... That was gonna happen no matter what, okay? That had nothing to do with the light. <laughs> that had more to do with me just just walking up to it. Yeah, and I know there's stuff down there, but I don't care, guys. I don't care. It's not about this loot, it's about the quest. And now the challenge of getting this quest and rather this building done in one day. I don't know, I don't know if it's possible. I'm sure gonna try. Okay, guys, it is nighttime, officially. And uh, this means that it would probably be a good idea to put these on. I have to make sure I turn that off. And I'm going to wear these. <gasps> my lucky goggles. Goodbye, my sweetums. And I think this is the look. Boys, it's green. Oh, look at all those red dots. Guys, look at our arrow situation. That is not a good look right there. That does not look good. If those little baby boys don't just die instantly, we're going to have a problem. And yeah, well, luckily they did, so we're fine. But there is a Zumbo. Oh no, he did not. He definitely did not. Yes, yes, yes. Look, we still have these, but we're clearly, clearly short on ammunition here. Is he going to move? Yeah. All right. Move no more. I have to pick up these arrows. I'm completely broke. 
I could go back to the house and grab more, but I didn't really, I didn't really plan to go looting today. It's just kind of something that happened. <laughs> oh, like I usually do these things. I don't know why. Oh no, well that doesn't help. She fell. Already a great look, guys. Okay. Right in the right in the balls. Um everything's fine. The only problem I have is that clearly they've gone downstairs. And I'm gonna have to remedy that situation. Oh no, there's more. Oh jeez. And this floor is clearly not something we can count on. Okay, that guy's gone. Is he dead? Oh yes, decapitation. Oh, swell, swell. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I have a sprained ankle, which is very annoying. But I think if I jump... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're fine. There we go. And all we have to do is loot from here. Yeah, here they come, here they come. And she's back. And I think there was another one. I'm not sure. Maybe if she was just that loud. Guys, I deeply regret scrapping some of that ammo that I got earlier. <laughs> I was just like, oh, they're bad arrows. Scrapped. And now I really, really wish I had them. So, you know, sometimes learn your lesson, guys. Don't jump the gun on scrapping things. Okay, well, as much as I tried so, so hard not to fill my bags with stuff, I, of course, did. Sprain ankle or not, we continue. And what I wanted to tell you guys is I have no idea, okay, if this has been an enjoyable experience with this, with these goggles on, for you as a viewer. But as a player, it's wonderful, okay? It's, it's incredible, actually, how good it is. I can walk up to everything and slash it open. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be fun. And by fun, I mean terrified. Okay, this is it. This is the moment. There we go. <laughs> this is the moment where we stop being cheap and care about our lives and our safety. I remember this room. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. You see, guys? Okay, it might look green and uggo, but the ability that we have right now of attacking... Oh, sweet, some bucks. Of attacking the zombies without them seeing us. It's too good. It's too good. We got the Hunter General Volume 1, which do 10% more damage to bears. I guess that's okay. And we'll read that one. Kill some stags. That's cool. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
Okay, if we don't find one, we can make it. We can make it, team. And we don't have to get to, to level 5 or whatever it was to get it. We can just do it. Okay, we're going to have to do it by foot here because we're running out of arrows. But we don't even have to get to level 5. That's amazing. We can just, you know, make them at level 2 or something. Make a level 2 or a level 3. I honestly don't think it's worth to make anything that low, to be honest. I would love to make a level 5 Valkyr, and I think that's the least I'll settle for, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because we have a level 1 Augur and we're pathetic doesn't mean I'm going to settle for a level 2. No. No. Not unless we find it, okay? If we're crafting it ourselves, I'm going for a level 5. And I'm not giving up until we get it. But let's keep going. I mean, if I keep talking, I'm going to completely... <gasps> we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, we're not almost there. We're three floors away. But we're almost there, guys, okay? <laughs> In terms of, of what could be, we're almost there. Excellent. Things I don't need. Kill the zombie up there. Give me back my arrow. Is there another one? Oh, there's two more. I would have totally missed these. Give me back my arrow. I need it. <laughs> but I would have totally missed those guys. Okay. No problem. Now I just have to keep walking. It looks like the baggie is in this room. Oh, man. We might have actually made it. Let's clear these guys. Okay, okay. No, 17. So it's away from here. Very cool, very cool. I just gotta make sure I clear all the zombies and I don't get overexcited and die because I'm trying to loot this baggie. Could it be here? I think it's here. Oh. I've never been so disappointed twice in a row. First for finding a backpack and then for finding glass jars in that backpack. Ah, that is the life. Sometimes you're lucky and sometimes it's a glass jar. Excellent. But it seems like we're getting further away, right? I'm not going crazy. We were closer when we were over here. Oh. Oh. Well, that was a close one. Deletion. I gotta say, I more than any other weapon, I'm quite good at headshotting with these arrows. When they're not moving. <laughs> uh, it makes you feel like a total boss. Okay, well, it says it's here. 2.5. Do you think it's, like, in there? On the ground? Let's do a little diggy, I guess. 1.5, 1.7, 2.5, 0.9, 1. Okay. So maybe it's here. Oh, I was right. I was right, I was right. Oh, sweet relief. I don't have to spend 10 hours trying to figure that one out. Oh, all right, they jumped down. Oh, no. I'm going to switch to the pistol. Oh, wait, what is happening? Okay, he's gone. Uh, but yeah, I switched to the pistol. Please stop falling down there. Where are they? I don't want to use my arrows. Because <laughs> I can't get them back over there. All right, sweet. So there's just another guy. Excellent. He's gone. Very nice. Very nice. We move on. Okay, that one takes us upstairs, which is great. But I'm pretty sure that there's going to be more zombies here. So I'm going to have to... Um... There you go. Hello. <laughs> Aren't there more zombies here? This is an insane amount of ladies. All right, slash to bits. Are they all dead? Looks like maybe. Excellent. It's okay. All I need is to clear the areas, and I'll be good to go. I'm not even interested in finishing the quest, even though it's nice and all. I just want to make sure that the whole place is... is that I make it to the end in one day, and basically clear it in one day. I think that would make me happiest. 
Because I this this is a challenge for me. I get distracted easily by sparkly loot. boy out here what it what is he doing out here uh, it looks like there's a lamp this way so it has to be this way don't look down guys don't look down oh man if we had the boots and the 5,000 dukes I might jump down and see and see and see if we make it but we don't so we will not and I think I will use the pistol on this guy here. I still have 460 shots. I mean, I found quite a bit of ammo here. I might as well spend it a little. Especially on those guys. Those guys are a nightmare. And so is the cop, obviously. One of the worst things in this game. And the little military guy. Man, we've, we hit the trifecta of all those zombies. Oh. oh make up your mind, man. How is a person supposed to shoot you when you're running around like that? Ah, oh, have some decency. We're trying to get this place done. I say as I stop to loot. Oh yes, guys, we made it. We made it to the roof. I think this is definitely under 24 hours. Yes, I still see a lot of red, okay? So we did miss, miss some zombies. We missed zombies, I know that, okay? So I still see a lot of the red, but it doesn't matter. Because the goal was to get to the end here. And I feel like I, I've accomplished it, okay? It's not perfect, mind you. But it's good enough. And I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna call it victory. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. From pretending this was under 24 hours, even though it sort of kind of was. It is, okay? And, uh... I feel great about it. Come on. Die, you monster. Oh, no. We're fine. We're fine. The turret is taking good care of us. But yeah, you can see there's... There's many hidden over here. And these are not even all the zombies. Radiated feral white. Now this is this is a treat. Oh, but you don't see those guys very often. Yes, another drop that I will likely forget. Come on. Oh, we're out. We're out of arrows. Oh, the good news is I still have my pistol and it's got some ammo. And I have my my trusty knife. Okay, my trusty machete. If anything goes down, I'll be ready to react. Yeah, yeah. See? Machete can be counted on. Can be depended on. He's swell. Excellent, let's loot. We made it, we deserve this. No! <laughs> Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, note to self, okay. Uh, throwing that blows it up. I could have died. I, I don't think it actually did damage because it would have, it would have definitely done worse, I feel, but it was terrifying nonetheless. 
Uh, we got ammo, which is incredible. We got an ergonomic grip, which I suppose maybe we can even put it here just to get it out of my inventory. Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. You see, we're scrapping quite a bit. Uh, some of this we can probably toss out because we don't need it per se. And we have impact bracing. <laughs> we took the beer in celebration. And also because we have no backspace. So who are we to judge? We're not even taking those steroids. I don't think I can take that. We're just leaving everything that is not a necessity. <laughs> I guess I'll take the blood bags because they're kind of annoying. AKA, I don't know if you can even make them yourself. You might have to find them. And the splint. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to come in handy because we're going to fall off this building. But I don't actually think it's going to save us. So we're fine. And now somebody told me last time I did this to check underneath this. So they had an idea that maybe this is the way you came out. But as you can see, that is a no-go. That is a no-go. <laughs> it's just, again, I don't know what it is about this room, but they just want to be miserable and leave you in here stuck forever. So I, I have some blocks, luckily, I think. Yep, I didn't throw them out. <laughs> Whoa, what a, what a joy. And we're going to get out of here. Let's go, boys. Come on. Anybody else here? How did I miss this room, too? Oh, it's weird, right? It's weird where where the mind goes when you're at nighttime and you're just kind of rushing through. Oh, sweet relief. I can make traps. Oh, that is... That made my day right there. So not only can I make traps now, I can make an auger. Oh, what do you even need skills for? Am I right? Why even bother? Oh, I missed the whole floor, guys. I don't even know if I can say I finished this in a day. Let's just call it a day plus. A day plus, okay? But that's okay. We did we did well. We did really well. I feel like I do worse than with this pistol than I do with <laughs> throwing knife. <laughs> I'm just so bad at it. So bad at shooting with it. Come on, boys. If there's more, you gotta come out. Oh, finally. Finally, finally. Oh, I cannot tell you how traumatized I am. Please let there be a way down here. Of course there's not. Okay, we're, we're out of there. We're out of there. We did it. We did it. That's all we can say about that. <laughs> Let's just remember that this started out as a building episode. And somehow it has turned into a quest. And then into a full clear of the Dijon Tower. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed that we were able to finish it at all. Uh, at the very least, I can tell you guys this. We are going to have concrete already ready <laughs> when we return home. So we can go and do a little bit of building until the trader opens, which I think is going to be my plan. Because we do have to turn this in to see if we got anything good out of that miserable, miserable place. The Dijon Tower, guys, not my fave, okay? It takes a really long time. The loot is good, but I didn't even pick up that much loot out of it. I was just kind of, I was just trying to get the quest done. <laughs> I picked up what I could. I picked up what I could. And then we called it, okay? Because if not, we would be there for four more days. What I can do is if we have some time extra, maybe at night for the next couple of days, we can go pick up the stuff because the zombies don't spawn right away. So that is the saving grace of that. But let me put this stuff away and then we will get to building. Okay, <laughs> we're out of forged steel. Oh, we tried, guys. We tried. Look, we have more cooking. I'm sure it'll be done at some point and hopefully before Horde Night. But it's looking good. It's looking good. I think this is going to work a lot better. I'm a little bit concerned because I believe underneath here, these are not 
steel, but we'll figure it out. I just don't want a demolisher to blow up there for any reason and then there be no path. But I think at worst case scenario, they'll just beat through the sides here and fall in the pit anyway. So, I mean, it is what it is and it'll be fine. Uh, these ramps are almost complete. I did this one out of steel. This is probably why we ran out of steel. I don't know why I did this. This was a stupid idea. I don't even think this is going to take that much damage, but you know, I guess who cares? It's done. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another block and then I believe I can add this one because I'm missing I'm missing these blocks. I left them in the house, unfortunately. And same for this side. If you'll notice, there's a block missing. But that's it. It's only one block and we can get that done in no time. Uh, hopefully we'll remember during Horde Night. But either way, there's still at least one path up. So we'll be okay. And it looks repaired. It looks repaired. And that's really all I care about. It looks repaired. It looks ready. So we don't have to worry about it too much before Horde Night. Hopefully I'll remember to bring those two blocks with me. But it's kind of late, guys. It's kind of late. And I, I did it. Look, we did a building episode. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Right, let's head to the trader. Uh, just watch it. I might actually cry if he gives me garbage. All right, just to double check, we have three points available. And I don't think I can actually make it to better barter four now, but I can get intellect to seven. Oh no, I can't even get into, I could get intellect to six guys. <laughs> can't even make it to seven. But look soon it'll be at seven and then I'll be able to get this. So, you know, right now we're just on the hope that he's not about to fail us. I'll pull out my revolver. Come on, Bob. Here you go, friend. Whatever you need, just say the word. No, no, all that work, and this is how he repays us? Oh, what a disappointment. It's, it's not even better than ours. I almost feel like throwing it out. <laughs> That's how upset I am. <laughs> but okay, well, at least we had an adventure, okay? And I did promise a building episode, and I delivered, guys, okay? We built. <laughs> we built for like three hours, but we built. Um, I was going to put a little bit more effort into it, obviously, and hopefully get everything ready for it. But we've used all their steel anyway, so it might have already been kind of an episode where I ended up doing something else anyway. So I'm glad that we went there, I'm, even though the lead was, um, let's just say, subpar. But, you know, at this point, I just need so little that nothing really is an upgrade unless it's something incredible. And from here on out, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on intellect. But we're probably not going to get more of the daring adventure. Okay, this is one. Uh, it gives you three additional choices for your quest rewards. But the next one just gives you extra dukes. Which isn't really... I mean, one quest a day at most is what I can do out of those big POIs. So, and an extra duke or so is uh, a thousand dukes. It's not going to make it much of a difference at all. So, this one would be nice, I guess, choose two quest rewards. But there's hardly ever two quest rewards that I'm, like, dying for. So, I'm, I'm fine where we are. I'm fine at Mercenary. And I think this is this is pretty good. But better barter, I do need to get this to five. Uh, obviously, getting a better deal is cool and all. But I would like to get a better stash. And that's what I'm going to be working on next so i just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed our sorta build <laughs> but most importantly i hope you enjoyed us clearing the dijon tower once again now we did it a lot faster it wasn't exactly a speed clear because we spent basically the whole next day trying to find those those few zombies that we missed the cleanup crew so to speak and i'll be honest if it wasn't for the quest we would have cleared it in a day right because we didn't need to clear those zombies we didn't need to find them uh, we didn't need to get those i don't know extra couple of rooms that we missed so yeah technically it was a day let's say 24 hours plus and let's leave it at that okay <laughs> it's a it's a little bit deceiving but at the same time appropriate so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then.